How are we doing guys and welcome back to All East TV. This is Brentford 5, leads to the post-match reaction to the game and we've got big problems. We've got big problems. I try and be positive in pretty much every video I do. I always try and see the positive side of things, stay upbeat, but we have got big problems at this moment in time. The same problems from last season are reappearing again. Defensively, we are too open, individuals are making mistakes, it's, it's all over the place at this moment in time and we're needing Elan Melier to keep the score down in a 5-2 defeat. This, this is the problem we've got at this moment in time. We're conceding far too many chances. Oh, man. It's so frustrating. So frustrating today. It's only six games into the, se into the season. We've got a decent haul of points so far. But all of a sudden, the table's punched together. It's punched together again. And, you know, one defeat could really slide you down the table now. You know, if you look at those first six games... Bournemouth have already got seven points. You've got teams kind of in the bottom three or on four or five points. It's very close again. And that good start to the season in terms of where we were, it's kind of starting to evaporate a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not going to be too knee-jerk and say it's been a dreadful start to the season. It hasn't been. We, we, we've still got a decent amount of points, but we've got big problems. This last week has shown those problems massively. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say problems in this video, but there are problems at this moment in time. Um, the team is set up to press to score goals. Again, we do that. We do we do score goals from our press. We create chances from our pressing. It's entertaining to watch. But when a side beats the press, it's able to string a couple of passes together. All of a sudden, they've got 40 yards of space to aim at and three or four runners you know, running off the back of our defenders. It's a huge, huge problem. And we're conceding 10 or 20 chances a game from this. So there's no exaggeration. You know, I think the opposition, in some ways... Up to today, being quite wasteful in those situations. Everton had situations like that. We're conceding too many opportunities in, the, in these situations. And going forward, we look fine. You know, as a team, I'd say we look 75% good and absolutely fine. We're creating chances. We're using the ball well. Our build-up play looks fine. We've improved a lot in that aspect from last season. But defensively, we're as bad, if not worse, than last season, you know, in terms of the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, since maybe not last couple of weeks, but the last two weeks, we've conceded far too many chances. And Brighton and Everton were very wasteful. Brentford weren't. Um, it's concerning to me that we lost the game 5 2 because I didn't think it was, an, an, if I'm being honest, I didn't think it was an especially bad performance. We've just made horrendous mistakes at the back. And, you know, in terms of the way we moved the ball around, we created chances. I mean, how we've only scored two, I don't know. It's concerning to me that we've conceded goals so easily. As I say, 10 or 20 times a game, we're seeing the opposition's wingers, wide forwards, centre forwards, running behind us and getting opportunities 1v1 against Melier. It's happening far too much. It's not even good passes against Brentford. It's not even particularly great passes, of passes you know, into space. It's just hopeful hoops forward and Brentford are getting chances from it. it. It's not good enough for us. It's not good enough. And I really like this team we've put together. But that element of our play is not good enough. And it's going to cost us unless we improve it. Look, there's still 32 games yet to play this season. But we've got to get on top of this now. We've got to get on top of this because it's letting down the rest of the team, really. You know, as I said, the new signings, have, I think, have done really well so far. Made a massive impact. You know, I think we have got the recruitment right this season. Yes, there'll be question marks in terms of the second bit of the transfer window. But as a whole, I think we have improved the squad. Um, undoubtedly, I think we've improved the squad. We found a real huge talent in Sinistera. I mean, what a goal of Sinistera, by the way. It just seems such a shame that Sinistera has basically scored a Paul Gascoigne Euro 96 goal against Scotland, and that's now totally forgotten. He scored one of the best goals I think I've seen from a Leeds player in 10, 15 years. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything because we've been so poor going the other way. I mean, even going forwards, we've, we've missed some big chances today. But I'm not going to criticise that because the positive is we're creating chances like we did in the first season back in this division. That isn't a problem for Leeds. Even without the you know, fully fit, natural centre forwards, I still think that isn't a problem for Leeds. I still think we can create chances. We press well. It's that defensive area. It's the defensive area. And is it individuals? Is it the system? It's a combination, I think, at this moment in time. I'm not saying the system is outright bad because, as I said, it leads us to creating chances, pressing well. But I think certain adjustments will need to be made to it because we're too open. Um, I need to just go through my notes here because I've just gone on a complete rambling rant there. Um, but anyway, guys, let's get, let's get back into this. Let's get back into this. Um, and we can't improve as a team if we defend like this. You know, No matter how much better we look going forward and in midfield... We can't improve as a team if we're conceding these type of goals in games because 
Brentford, I think, are a good team. I think Brentford have got a real chance of finishing top 10. But they're not an outright top 10 team. You know, if you're playing a Liverpool today or a Man City or an Arsenal, you're potentially conceding six or seven goals in that game if we defend like that. Um, and we've still got these teams to play, let's not forget. So it is a big problem for us. Um, the front six is undoubtedly being let down by the back four. Um, you know, it, it's a big problem for us. And for me, personnel-wise, I want to see Lynn Cooper coming in. I think we need that leadership at the back now, that bit of experience at the back. I did say it kind of before the game. I felt we could have done for Lynn Cooper. Um, listen, he gets a lot of criticism in the fan base. But there was no doubt for me. There was no doubt. I could not see how there was an argument against it now. Liam Cooper is our best centre-back. There is no doubt about this for me. He's our best centre-back. You, know, you saw the impact he made last season with him in and out the team. The difference in goals conceded. We're seeing it this season as well. He has to come back in for Forrest. And I think it makes a big difference straight away if he comes back in. Luke Aylin, despite my criticisms of those defensively, I thought Luke Aylin had a good impact on the game going forward. And he certainly played himself into contention for starting the Forest game, potentially. You bring in two leads into the team, I think it does start to make a difference. And yes, people will talk about Luke Aylin's form from last season, but this was a really real positive in terms of his impact on the game. Going forward, that is. You know, going forward, you know, we didn't see a lot of him defensively, but going forward, he certainly gave us an extra, gave us an extra edge to our um, attack, really. Um, but yeah, I think... The big problem is, as much as I'm saying the front six com is combining really well, eventually, if we do keep conceding goals like this and we keep needing Melier to make so many saves a game, eventually it's going to put in doubt into the whole team, not just the back four, the whole team. You know, Going forward, the forwards are going to feel a bit more pressure than the fact that we've got to score two or three goals a game to even get a draw. Um, Melier is going to feel pressure because he knows he has to be an eight or nine out of ten you know, to keep a clean sheet or to keep the you know to keep the goals against down. Um and I just I really like this team. I've got to say I really like what Jesse Marsh is doing, but this has been a shocking day, probably a shocking week really all round. Um you know and and the thing is my big thing for Leeds this season is just staying up comfortably. That's all I want from Leeds this season. I've said it at the start, I said it after Chelsea, I'm not going to change my view on that, despite losing so heavily. We just need to improve on last season. But Today, we played a team, a mid-table side in Brentford. We played you know, a side, probably not even mid-table in Everton you know, on Tuesday night. And then we played, obviously, Brighton last Saturday. We haven't looked as good as those sides. That's a problem. That's a problem. If we want to improve, we have to at least be looking to win one of those games, if not be getting results in one of those games. You know, to only take one point from those three games is a massive concern. And listen... I'm still positive about our start to the season, but today was a massive wake-up call. And let's hope it serves as a wake-up call. You know, we have got to get Liam Cooper back into the team. We've got to get Luke Aylin back into the team and get some confidence back into the side. I'm not going to pick on any individuals. It was just, as a collective, it was not good enough today defensively. But again, we could have scored five today. What an absolutely mad day. Not just a bad day at the office, an absolutely... I'm not going to swear, I'm not going to swear because it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, but diabolical day at the office to be honest but we've got a week now to recover um nine days until forest let's see what we can do but let's keep a bit of perspective it's still been a decent start to the season we are creating chances harris and sinistera you know really causing problems week in week out again as soon as they came off i just didn't see it from us i didn't see it from us so for me they have to play 90 minutes every single week they are an absolute must they are our best two players for me we need to improve on this, though. We need to improve on this. It's a bit different style of video for me, this, today. But I just didn't see that coming today. That heavier defeat. Brentford were clinical. Ivan Tony showed his quality. And it has to be a wake-up call. What a difference this is from last time I went to Brentford in terms of feeling. All for one, but fair play to Brentford. They took the chances and uh, and they look a good side. And they've, they've beaten some teams heavily this season already. So... We move on, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't done already and smash the subscribe button as well. Cheers, guys.